What's up to all you gun loving watchers out there, man? It's your boy Irat Max with Double Tap Coalition. And today, and today only, we're gonna be talking about the new Canic Mete MC9. This is our review to you. You know how we do this. Y'all done done this with us a thousand times. So we're gonna do a 1001 today, right? All right, so we're about to get into it. I rock, I rock Max. Max. Make it all the so out the box with this new Canic, right? We're gonna talk about a couple things you get outside the firearm. You only get one firearm, one firearm only. So we have the Canic Mete MC9 itself. We have a 12 round standard magazine, also with the pinky extender. Then over here we have the 15 round magazine with the speed loader for all you people with weak hands, no shade. We got an inside the waistband holster. That's the first. I don't think Canic has ever produced a firearm and gave you an inside the waistband holster. Thanks to all y'all gorgeous complaints. We appreciate that because we all need it. All right, beyond that, we have the punch tool. We actually have the tool set, which looks like a little mini uh, Canic Mete. We got the cleaning brush, the jag rod, and you have three back straps. One is actually on the firearm. Because I know y'all going to be like, oh, they can't count because there's two in there. There's actually one on the firearm itself. So you do have to do some work, take it off, and get the new one put on there. With the handy dandy punch tool. They give you all the tools you need to make the modifications that you want to make. Oh, you got this little shitty ass lock. All right, so now that we got all the basic components of what it comes with out of the way, let's shoot it. Let's see how it do. Shoot it sideways. Shoot it sideways. All right, so we just got back from the rain session running this Canic Mete MC9. I must say, out the box, man, once again, I love it. It's a Canic. Everybody know how we feel about Canic or how I feel personally. Man, the trigger is phenomenal. It's unmatched out the box. And for a price point at a whopping $400, like when we're talking about the, the other ones on the market right now, such as the Hellcat, which is about $530, you got the Sig P365 in the same ballpark. Personally, performance-wise, I feel like that Canic gave me the performance that I wanted. From someone who actually carries a Hellcat on a daily basis or used to carry a Hellcat on a daily basis, it gave me what I wanted. The recoil mitigation I felt was a little bit better than on my Hellcat, than the 365. But that's up to you to judge. I'm just telling you how I feel about it personally. The 12 round magazine, the 15 round magazine, I did not like the flush fitting 12 round magazine. I need the pinky extender. I have bigger hands. I need that hand grip. The hand grip helps me when I'm shooting and I'm putting rounds on my target. So the, the extended back strap is probably one I'm gonna go ahead and modify on that can it but other than that man like when i tell y'all out the box it, it delivered it wasn't smooth as the tp9 subcompact but it's expected it's a smaller gun it's a smaller frame i'm expecting a much greater recoil on this and it gave me that it wasn't a very wild recoil that i couldn't manage i was able to manage it my follow-up shots continue to be delivered so when we talk about the modifications that i plan on making to it Definitely gonna put my red dot on here. Like, I'm, I'm gonna have to. Like, I'm, I'm in the red dot club now. I know what I said in the other videos, so forgive me or don't, because I'm not really sorry at all. Um, Danny's been giving me grief after grief over my red dot abilities and skills, because I shoot better than him, obviously. And we're gonna keep this in there. Thank you. Um, moving right along. The sights on it, the sights, the factory sights, great. I would suggest night sights, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's just me personally. If I was one of those people who doesn't plan on getting optic or running it, the night sights would be a great addition that would help you when you have to deploy your weapon at night or in low light settings. I feel like the one on my TP9 is there and it works. So not having it, I feel like it's one of the drawbacks. If we're talking about negative features at this moment in time, I really don't have none. I mean, it's a canic. Like I don't personally have anything negative to say about them. I've been running them for a while now. People around me have been running them for a while. So Canic entering the micro compact game for me was a game changer. 
especially at the price point of 400 bucks. Like, I mean, ranging, some people getting them for 380 some people getting them for 450 Um, I also know some people selling them for like five or 600 bucks. Don't be one of those guys that go out there and buy a five, six hundred dollar candy. You look so dumb right now. I'm telling you, don't do it. If you do it, we're gonna come back on this channel and we're gonna talk about you for a very long time. I'm just saying that's what it is. That's how it's gonna be from Irate Max personally. Okay. All right, for so, well, we talk about comparisons real quick. Um, on a Mete MC9, I mean, I also I'm a fan of the FDE color. So it does come in three different colors. You got the FDE, you have the black, and you also have the two-tone FDE. And it comes optic ready standard. I mean, if you know Canic, then you already know it's coming out the box, like ready for you. We got the, the pit rail right here for your flashlight accessories and lasers. I don't know why anybody needs a laser this day and age. Flashlight, yes, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Um, I, I don't know why you want the little red fucking pointy thing on your gun, but you know, hey. Um, comparing it, going back to my comparison though, on the TP9 subcompact, it's a subcompact. Like, that's what it is. So when we talk about the subcompact, my hand grip on it, the weight on it, in comparison to the micro compact, it's a micro. It serves a different purpose than a subcompact. I don't expect it to be the same. I don't expect it to perform the same to a degree. I expect great performance because Canik is one of my preferred brands. But my hand grip on here is better. The weight distribution is better. The paint job, I mean, the Cerakote job is obviously better. I got the Hollow Sun 507K here, and I also have the Balder Olight on here, and it gives me what I want, right? But I've already broken this in. I've ran over thousands of rounds. It currently hasn't been cleaned in about 500 rounds, and it's still performing. But we're here to talk about the Mete. I personally feel like my Mete is going to give me the same performance that I get out of my subcompact. But again, it's a micro compact. So when we talk about it, it's gonna have that heavier recoil. It's gonna have a snap to it, but it's also gonna give you what you want. You want a smaller frame, higher magazine capacity. For those of us who live in the good old free states who have not been corrupted just yet, we can still have high capacity firearms. So $400 out the box, it's good to go. It got my vote. As you knew it would. So, as usual, like, subscribe, comment, share. Talk to me. I talk back. If you got one, you got a different opinion, different view, let me know. We're here to talk about it. I rap Max, Devil Tap Coalition, and make it out alive.